So for this project, we're working on creating a clay tile picture and we're going to use a wolf to learn the technique and then we can apply it in lots of different ways. So once you've learned how to do this, then you can create clay tiles with lots of other things on them. So there's another video about how to do one with a bee, but you can create your own designs. They could be flowers, they could be other animals. My advice is to keep it relatively simple and just build up the skills step by step. The technique we're going to be using is called relief. And the first step is to work on our drawing. So it's much easier with a clay tile if you know what you want it to look like at the end before you've started. So this is the picture that I'm going to show you how to draw so that you can then create this on your tile. You're going to need a plain piece of paper and on that piece of paper you're going to need to draw a roughly square shape because I'll just take it over I think it's a little bit this sort of shape because that's the space that you're going to have when you work on your clay tile so just get your square or rectangle to about the shape it needs to be it's not a perfect square it doesn't need to be let's give yourself an idea of the shape that you've got to work with now any picture of any animal or person or shape you're trying to draw you can get a feel for the shapes and look for the shapes within things so when I look at this picture of the wolf I see this oval here and this is how I started to draw it in fact I can faintly see my line there of where the pencil oval was to begin and that's this shape here which is almost cylinder shaped for his body just there and if we were making a three-dimensional model we would make an oval sphere or we would make a cylinder and round off the ends to do that in clay but we're working on flat on a tile today in relief techniques so i'm going to begin by drawing that oval in now i can see that i don't want to go about above there and i don't want to go below about here looking at my picture just to have Pop that over there looking at the picture there I can see whereabouts it needs to come and my oval is going to come about in this shape just here and I'm just going to draw in the oval because that's going to give me some guidelines for then drawing my wolf so having drawn my oval in I can begin to think to work on it so I'm going to start with the nose up here and I'm going to put the shape in and I'm going to bring it down because that's what happens to the nose and it's going to come up and down to the ears. Now I may well fiddle with this later because if it's not quite right and often it's not quite right then I may need to fiddle and you'll see that I'm just sketching quite quickly. I'm going to have an eye that's going to come about here. The mouth is going to come in and then round. Now, when I drew this the first time, I did find that a bit tricky. I'm hoping I'm going to find it easier this time. And oh, look, there we go. We can suddenly see the wolf's head beginning to appear. Now, this is a sweep. So we're going to sweep the pencil down to get a feel for where it's coming down here. So I've reached here and I'm going to sweep it down. And I've realised something, which is I think this bottom line is a little bit high because it doesn't feel like I'm sweeping quite far enough. You might want to print out a, a copy of the picture and then you can actually see with your finger what that, that sweep feels like. That's better and that feels more like how I want it to be. The back is quite easy because it's just going to come down like this for now. I'm just going to I've got a lot of pencil lines so I'm just going to take a few of them out I'm going to bring that down now this is the front leg there's the shoulder joint you can see there and it comes down quite straight then it comes round and down and quite straight there too and here we've got the back the powerful back legs just there this is tummy let's rub people say tummy for a wolf probably not i don't know stomach tummy 
and then we're going to come up and we're going to come around through his tail they have immense bushy tails which are really important because it affects the balance of the wolf and there is our basic wolf shape now what i started to do on the other one is to feel for where certain things come this part of a wolf is very important and we will show this with layers in our clay and marks really important that you begin to look and see well where would i put my marks and have them as a guide on your wolf you can use my version as a guide for where you think these marks might need to go now here there will be lighter areas where you can imagine the light of the moon is catching the wolf and that's going to be really really important to show those lighter areas because that creates that sense of value when working in a two-dimensional plane to make something appear to be three-dimensional. 